For millennia, humanity has gazed at the stars yearning to unravel their mysteries. But what if we could traverse these cosmic distances within human lifespans? Imagine a future where voyages to distant galaxies are commonplace. This is the tantalizing promise of warp drive technology, a concept once confined to science fiction but now edging closer to reality. As a theoretical physicist, I have dedicated my life to exploring the universe's deepest secrets. Few breakthroughs have filled me with the same sense of awe as the recent advancements in warp drive technology. These developments, once deemed fantasies, are now the subject of serious scientific inquiry. We stand on the cusp of a new era in space exploration, where the seemingly impossible might be within our grasp. This quest led to the birth of the warp drive concept, a revolutionary idea that captured the imagination and sparked a wave of scientific exploration. The concept of warp drive has taken a significant step towards scientific plausibility. Recent breakthroughs in theoretical physics, particularly in space-time manipulation, have breathed new life into this idea. At the heart of this revolution lies the work of physicists like Miguel Alcubier, whose theoretical framework laid the foundation for modern warp drive research. Alcubierre's model, proposed in 1994, offered a mathematically sound solution to Einstein's field equations, demonstrating the theoretical possibility of warping space-time to achieve faster-than-light travel. The scientific community is abuzz with excitement as these theoretical frameworks are tested and refined. To comprehend warp drive one must first grasp the concept of space-time. Imagine a vast, four-dimensional fabric that encompasses the entire universe. This fabric is influenced by the presence of matter and energy, giving rise to gravity. Massive objects create depressions in space-time, much like a bowling ball on a trampoline. Einstein's theory of general relativity provides the framework for understanding this relationship. His equations revealed that gravity is a curvature in space-time itself. This insight paved the way for new possibilities, including the theoretical manipulation of space-time for faster-than-light travel. Imagine two points in space separated by a vast distance. A warp drive would distort space-time, bringing the two points closer together. It's akin to folding a piece of paper so that two distant points touch, effectively shortening the distance between them. In 1994, physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed a theoretical framework suggesting the possibility of faster-than-light travel. His concept centered around the creation of a warp bubble, a region of space-time that contracts in front of a spacecraft and expands behind it. Imagine a surfer riding a wave propelled forward by the energy of the ocean. Similarly, a spacecraft equipped with a warp drive would surf on a wave of distorted space-time. Inside this bubble, space-time would remain relatively flat, allowing the spacecraft to experience a comfortable environment. The spacecraft wouldn't move faster than light within its local frame. Instead, space-time itself would warp and carry the spacecraft. However, Alcubierre's model required exotic matter, a hypothetical form of matter with negative mass-energy density, which remains speculative. The concept of negative energy, while seemingly paradoxical, is not entirely foreign to physics. Certain quantum phenomena, such as the Casimir effect, provide hints that negative energy densities might exist at the subatomic level. The Casimir effect demonstrates that a force can be generated between two uncharged plates in a vacuum due to quantum fluctuations. This phenomenon provides evidence that negative energy densities can manifest in the real world. The challenge lies in finding a way to amplify and control these quantum fluctuations on a macroscopic scale. If we could bridge the gap between the quantum realm and the macroscopic world, we might unlock the key to manipulating space-time and realizing the dream of warp drive. The quest for a warp drive received a boost with the work of Dr. Eric Lentz, a physicist at the University of Göttingen. Lentz proposed a model for a warp bubble that doesn't require exotic matter. His solution relies on a novel configuration of space-time curvature, creating a soliton, a self-reinforcing wave, that can propagate at superluminal speeds. 
Lentz's model represents a significant step towards a more realistically achievable warp drive. By circumventing the need for exotic matter, Lentz's model offers hope that warp drive technology might one day be within our grasp. However, significant challenges remain, including the immense amount of energy required to create and sustain a warp bubble. The control and stability of a warp bubble present formidable engineering challenges. The road to warp drive is fraught with obstacles, but the potential rewards are so transformative that the journey is worth undertaking.